Jack Cavanaugh and I just met, but we have something in common, and that is that in the early 80s, we were among the first patients that had microfracture by Dr. Richard Stebbin, which was a little bit controversial when he started doing it. But I want to step back from that for one second. When I went in to have my x-ray, I had some scars on my knee. I'd had surgery before, just like you had had surgery before. And the, the x-ray technician said to me, oh, you've had somebody else do your work. Once you've had the rest, it's time to see the best. And so you had some problems that Dr. Stebbin fixed, problems caused by other orthopedic surgeons. Yes, that's correct. Actually, I had a fracture, <clears throat> and the fracture did not heal well and ended up causing uh, a significant issue on my knee. Uh, I was told by the experts in the profession uh, in several cities that it was hopeless and that I needed to have a knee replacement. I was still quite active in sports at the time, and that's the last thing that I wanted. This is over 30 years ago. Knee replacements were pretty new things then. And they were new, and even today, um, I'm a doctor also, not an orthopedist, but even today, knee replacement is only a temporary fix, and you have to have another one if you're going to be active a number of years later. And it certainly is much more limiting than your own joint would be. So did Dr. Stedman's work change your life? Oh, absolutely. He kept me from having a knee replacement, and it's now 30 years later. And I'm able to do my everyday sports, and I'm looking forward to many more, more years of that. As a doctor yourself, how do you respect Dr. Stedman? <laughs> well, Dr. Stedman is absolutely unique because what he does and what he did do is he looked at every patient as an individual. There are a lot of these, um, what I call orthopedic mills, where uh, an orthopedist will do 10 knee replacements every m Monday morning. Every surgery that Dr. Stedman did was uniquely designed for the, that particular patient's issue. And if it was a microfracture, or if it was a combination of microfracture and others, then he would do that. And whatever time it took to do that, he did that. So I have sent dozens and dozens of patients to Dr. Stedman that were also told they were at the end of the road, they needed to have knee replacements. And so many of them, many years later, are in sports, walking around, running, enjoying their lives because of Dr. Stedman. A couple of white-haired guys who uh, owe our athletic activities today to Dr. Richard Stedman. Thank you, Jack Cavanaugh. Thank you so much.